These days you can find Alan Hendrickson in his basement wood shop. But for 28 years, he had another passion, as a concrete worker. We poured the concrete, laid it, finished it, whether it be streets, parking lots, buildings. Then, a series of health issues changed things. On April 2nd of 2012, I ended up having open heart surgery. He still loved concrete work. If I could, I mean, after I had the heart surgery, I'd still be doing concrete. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I loved it. Uh, the doctor said, you're done. He says, you're not going to be able to go back to do it. He says, if you do, he says, you're going to end up dead. He was able to go on disability. Hendrickson's wife, Vanessa, was also struggling with health issues. And, uh, about lost her, her grand mal seizures uh, before they got her on this new med. And to supplement the income, he started doing very simple woodcraft type projects. And I got on the internet and would look at a bunch of different stuff to see what else I could do to make money. And I come across what they call the wood, the intarsia wood art. And I had no idea how to even do it. As he practiced, Hendrickson got better and better. The Osceola schools loved their mascot he made. Others saw his work and were quick to place orders. He landed orders from far away thanks to his Facebook site. But as demand for the intarsia art grew, he still had health problems. This Christmas was a bad one because of the heart failure. I had a lot of orders and people understood. And with all this talent, Alan Hendrickson looks back before his heart issues. He had no idea he could do this. I took uh, one semester art class. Hendrickson still misses his concrete work, but is thankful he was using what he learned there to work in the new medium of wood. In Osceola, Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.